Hello everybody, this is SEAL160 and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to add tags, subsections, or just little sections to your YouTube channel in case you do not know how to do that, such as over here where it has helmet camera videos for popular up uploads. So, traditional way of actually adding in a customized one, which is the camera videos, is you would go to add section and just add one. However, you may not have that option yet, so follow me along here. If you go to your home page and then go up to your top where your little icon is and everything, you want to click the little drop down uh, pencil right here. Now you click on that, you're going to go to channel navigation. So we're going to click that. So you click edit channel navigation. You want to make sure that browse view is enabled because otherwise you will not have that option to make little sub channels. So make sure that's enabled, and then click Save. So now, in case you didn't have it before, you'll have Add a Section down here. Now if you click on this, this gives you a multitude of different things that you can add your videos to, such as your popular uploads, the ones that most people look at, you know, uploads, the most recent ones that you've just put up, and also what used to be here as under other is there used to be tags. However, that is no longer there. Now tags was used to make a custom section such as this helmet camera video section. Now, in order to do that, what we're going to do is you don't have to you don't have to click along with me in this part. Just listen to me. Uh, we're going to go under single playlist. Now horizontal and vertical. Horizontal is how I have it right now. You can see the videos are horizontal. Or else you can do vertical. If vertical is something that you would like. It would basically be something that would display the videos and also have a little bit of a side description on it, so your description of your video. So, anyways, let's assume that you're going to go horizontal. So we're going to choose a playlist. As you can see, you can enter a different playlist from somebody else, but we're going to concentrate on the most important person in the world, me, myself, and I. Well, I guess those are three people. Anyway, so you'll see that find playlist is here. You'll see that I have helmet camera videos displayed here. Now, I'm going to teach you how to do that right now. So we're going to cancel out of this right now. Okay, now follow along with me in this section. So we're going to go up to your top. You're going to go under Playlists. Now click this with me. Okay. Now you'll see at the top it says Created Playlists. It has New Playlists. You might have some of your favorite videos here. I'm a Macho Man fan, so I got it. So what we're going to do is create a new playlist for you. So click on that. Now, playlist title, I'm going to use tutorials as uh, a new section that I'm going to do so I can have something like this video inside of it. So we're going to create. Now you'll notice that it's right here, tutorials. Now you can add videos, but I don't really suggest doing that because sometimes a computer can be a little bit wonky in trying to figure out what exactly to add to this section. Now what I usually do is you go under playlist settings. Um, right here you have your playlist privacy, so you can make it private, unlisted, public. Public is what you want if you want to actually see it. Now the ordering can be done manually, most popular, date added, from newest to oldest, oldest to newest, and same thing with the publish date. Now I'm going to go with publish date because I would like it to automatically update anything that I put a certain tag in, say tutorial, inside the video, and it would be added to this playlist. So I'm going to do published date. So I'm going to click on that. So now it'll be automatically ordered with the published date. Now we're going to click on auto add up here. Now we're going to add some rules here so that the computer knows what it's going to do. Now if you have a certain title that you use on your video a lot, then you can use, uh, these are predefined rules that would filter it so the computer would be able to find your videos that you want more efficiently for this subsection. So I traditionally just go with tags because I never know what I'm going to update my video and make its name as. So I'm going to go under tag and I'm going to make it so it has tutorial. So if I tag inside the video tutorial, it'll appear inside this playlist. I'm going to save. Now you'll notice it says add one recent video that matches this rule to the playlist. Now I already have a video that is tagged with tutorial on it, 
and I'm just going to click that and, and do done. You'll notice that I have this video that was made uh, like years ago of me spray painting a toy AK-47 gold. So that's odd, added to that playlist. Now, you may not have anything on your playlist just yet. So what I want you to do is go under your videos. I have like a bunch of them. Like this one, I have a video of converting a Zoom playlist to Windows Media Player to iTunes. I want you to click on your video. I want you to edit. All right, this is it. Edit thing is at the bottom of it. And basically, here's your tag section right over here. So if I add tutorial to this tag section, it should add this video, that sub playlist. So we're going to save the changes made. Also, you can navigate your other videos over here by his video manager. I'm going to make sure I don't have any other tutorials, which I highly doubt. Not. So what we're going to go now is we're going to go back to your dashboard. Back to your channel. So we're going. To... Okay. So now we're going to navigate towards the bottom where our listings were. We're going to click add a section. And as we did before, showed you before, I'm not sure if you remember, go to playlists. Click single playlist. And then my playlists. Then you want to find a playlist. You'll notice that tutorials is now here. Click on this. And then we can save it and I'll display it. Now if I wanted to do vertical, this is how it would look with a vertical orientation shows a little bit of the descriptions, but I think the titles are good enough as it is. Keep it short and sweet, straight to the point. So click Done. And then your tutorial section, or whatever section that you named it as, will appear right here. Now you'll be able to reorientate all these things by clicking over here, a little up and down so you can orientate these. Say tutorials are more important than helmet camera videos. Put that on top or helmet camera videos on the bottom whatever you may prefer now if you go under options again that's just if you want to change it to vertical or horizontal again i hope that you guys got something out of this and learned a little bit on how to utilize sub channels tagging and just creating little sections in your youtube video your tube sorry your youtube section to make it a little bit more usable for your users who come by to your channel so they can see everything. This has been a video by Seal160, and I'm signing off. I'll see you later.